the first thing I remember as Chicago hip hop might have been um, Fast Eddie, you know, and uh, I used to, you know, sneak out and try to go to uh, f try to find, you know, breakbeat culture and being late 80s, early 90s in Chicago, it was primarily house music and house music culture. And in, in a lot of ways, like what a lucky experience to get wrapped up in, in that community and that scene and the vibrancy and the, you know, the different amounts of people who were there. And I remember hearing a Fast Eddie record and really being taken by the rapidity of his language, um, how quick he was, uh, and, and later hearing, you know, like Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock kind of take that sound. Um, but I think like that, uh, in that moment, that like very brief moment of hip house, which I think in some ways like, gets clowned, but I think also like you could see how it also helped to birth later movements of, of music. Um, uh, and, and, then, and then graffiti, you know. Uh, I think, you know, some place like Tony Sports uh, and the murals outside of Tony Sports was really significant. Um, I was born on Roscoe, uh, lived on Aldine, went to Jewish day school at Pine Grove and Grace, and my aunt lived uh, at 3800 uh, Lakeshore Drive. And so uh, my dad is a big, like, lifelong Cubs fan, you know, since 1943. And so, you know, being in that area and seeing that, that mural around that store and then um, riding the red line and just seeing, like, kings on, on the red line um, and, and uniquely Chicago. I mean, I didn't know that at the time that they were uniquely Chicago styles, but seeing the beginning and the proliferation or continuation of a Chicago style, I was like, you know, I would just ride the train all bug-eyed, just be like, what is going on? <laughs>